Hi again. So back with another plan with me. This one is from August 1st to the 7th. And I am going to be using this sheet of ice cream cones. And it is from Summer Memories from Amber Plants Her Day. And I'm matching it up with colorful boxes. This is the newer one. So this one is available. See the boxes here match. And there's a couple different sizes and also some um, uh, headers. I might even switch out the uh, days of the week. So I'm not sure just yet. So yeah, a few things to play with in there. Probably won't use the flowers. And then and that's it. This book actually has three different colors. This is like a brights, then it goes into pastels, and then it goes into like these purple, pink, and mint green. Okay, so I'm gonna use those. And then I pulled out of my stash this um, Dollar Tree sticker set. Definitely gonna use the little ice creams. Maybe the summer and the fun and the sun, not sure just yet. And then also pulled this out of my scrapbook stash, looking at maybe the summertime and the little girl eating the ice cream. This was just a piece of cardstock. Then I got some washies pulled, um, a bright rainbow, a lighter rainbow, and then this stripe. It matches the um, ice creams pretty good. Oh. Making a mess. Anyways, yes, you can see. So it kind of matches the ice creams. And then with the this little house, I'm gonna put it on the bottom and I'm gonna do kind of like the idea of a sidewalk. And I'm going to use this washi kind of as the sidewalk. So what I wanna do is I just want to start with the sidewalk so i'm taking a little piece of tape and i'm just uh taping down the top of my page here just to hold them together and then i'm gonna put oh let me get rid of the cat here i'm gonna put this across the bottom and i'm gonna start with this word happy and you know what's not lined up great let me fix that okay just get it lined up perfect there we go okay so i'm going to start with the word happy on this end and then whatever i end up with down there is fine and that's pretty Straight, straight enough. Okay. Rip that end off. And rip this end off. Okay. okay. Take the piece of tape off the top. And then I'm just going to cut the bottom here. Actually, I'll flip it over so I can see better. And a little crooked. The tape, eh, the tape is off slightly. But that's okay. I can trim that down later. It doesn't need to be absolutely perfect. Okay, so that is my start. So now I'm going to put in the ice cream house. So the ice cream house is going to go here and I think I am going to white out that black line. So I will be back. Okay, so I took my white jelly pen and I just go in like a little circle and just 
to cover up the line. And then um, you do need to give it a minute to, to dry. Okay, so let's see if that's enough. Yeah, that seems to be enough blackout. Blacked out, white out, whited out, blacked out, whited out, whited out. Okay, so I'm just going to center it on the bottom here. And there we go. So my cute little ice cream house. Okay, so just a little tip slash trick. Um, so this is a paper uh, sticker sheet that's been used up. And so I think I'm going to white out all of the days of the week and then this little this week's list circle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this old sticker sheet. I'm going to just rip right across the top here. And we'll rip there. And I'm going to just cut out some strips. To get my finger long enough to cover up the days of the week, and should get myself a piece of wax paper to stick all the extra pieces on. So instead of like ripping off or throwing out your used sticker sheets, hang on to them and use some of the sticker paper to um, white stuff out. See, this is so small that, or these words are so small that I can totally do two out of this one. So. Wednesday, and what other one is longer? Thursday. Okay. And then, you see, so this spot right here will cover up that circle. Okay, so I got those all covered up, so now I want to use these Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday stickers, and I'm just going to if I can get them off. Okay. So now I'm just going to put them across the sticker tape that I had there. Okay, so I got all the days of the week on there, and now I'm going to take my striped washi tape, and I want to just go across here. And then across the top here. Okay, so I got that fixed. So what I am thinking is that I want to just throw Let's put 
get this one. I need another angle over here because it's actually kind of long. Oh, the watermelon. Oh, let's put an ice cream cone in there too. this big big one I think I want to put it like in a square all by itself and same with this big one up the paper so I guess it's going crooked off the edge which is fine okay so then I'm gonna take um, maybe another ice cream keep uh, Wrinkling the edges when I'm pulling them up. Okay, so I'm going to have this one here going down to the edge, and then I am going to trim it off. And I'm going to save that little piece of cone. Okay, maybe I'll put that one there. And I will take the Rebel one and put it in here. Okay, so this last popsicle will go there. So my sheet of popsicles are gone on. I am going to grab these little ones out of here. Okay, so I pulled those little ice creams off, or popsicles off, and so they are attached together. So I just go and I pull the foam off. Now, for some reason they have, the one underneath has a number, but that's okay. Okay, so get the foam off of these. For the ones that have the numbers, I can cut that and just use the bottom of it sticking somewhere. So hold on before I do that. Not that way. Which color do I want where? Okay, so I have the option of the green one up here. And there's a cat here. Hi, Daisy. Okay, so I think if I cut this one across like this, it will fit. Oh, I'm getting head bobs. Okay, go. Okay, so that one there. And thinking this one here. So we will angle it down. We're in there, and then I can just put popsicle right there, and I can put a popsicle right there. Okay, so I'm just gonna get some tape and tape those on. Okay, so I tape these three down, and I'm just gonna show you what I did. So I have tape roller, so just. Roll the tape on the back and then just stick it 
take it on. So I do have these few little pieces that I cut from like this cone, that popsicle, that ice cream. So I am actually going to use them. I'm going to stick them right along the borders here. So one there and let's put, let's just put the red one in here. And this little tiny piece of green, I'm even going to stick that in there. Just like that. I cut out the summertime and the little girl. I kind of forgot about this. So I think I might change my mind and put her in here. And um, write my weekly joys. And then I was kind of thinking of putting the summertime up down, down there. I kind of feel like though I've taken away from the cute little ice cream shop. So I'm going to see if I can get these up. Well, I got everything up. It made a mess, but that's okay because I'm going to put the card right on top of it. Right there, so get the tape roller out. Just want to be there, somewhat even on the top and the bottom. Okay, so that's cute. Okay, it's time for crazy. So I took off the swashy tape. I didn't, there's something about it that I didn't like. And I think it's the washi tape. I think the washi tape might be a little too busy. So I'm just gonna peel it off. Like some of these popsicle pieces that I took off of the other one. I could, you know, I they don't need to go inside these lines, I could just, should probably just peel the pieces of paper off of this one. Yeah, this one did not want to come up nice. You can usually scrape off these, um, the clear stickers, you could usually scrape the paper off the back, like that one had a little bit of the black line on it. So I just use my nail and I can scrape it off. And when I took it off, yes, I ripped it with right there, but um, <laughs> the other thing I don't like is this one. I just don't think I have that one in a good spot. Okay, so peel some of the paper off of here. Okay, now the only thing is, is I've got stripes there. So maybe this striped one can go here. I'll fix that sticker yet. And then the only other thing is that I've got these couple little pieces. So let's put the top. So I did, I had cut this off. So I put the bottom of the cone back on and the top of that cone back on. So I'm just gonna put the top of the popsicle back on. It's, um, Fairly easy to do with uh, clear stickers. 
it's I want to take this one off there's no way I need that undo stuff I was talking about what it does is it takes off your stickers um, without taking any of the paper off and it leaves the stickiness on on the sticker So this is my disaster plan with me. I will admit it. This one here is completely changed my mind. Did not go the way that I thought it was going to go. And um, so, yeah, it's a big fat mess. But I don't want to post all the perfect ones because I do mess up. I will scrape that one off too. I do mess up all the time. I change my mind, you know, I'm human and it's allowed. So now I have like a rainbow of ice cream. Didn't even realize that. Hm, it's kind of cute like that. Um, I think I have actually a couple little rainbows. Let me take a look. Okay, so in my Wild Journey book, I do have a page with rainbows and I'm thinking just throwing them in there just to kind of make this look more like a rainbow. Um, I'll go with maybe a big one in here to cover up that. And then I'll do one in here. Okay, what else? Okay, so I went ahead and I pulled off these two stickers from up here. I really like the rainbow ice cream rainbow of ice cream um i am going to put i will put a box in here to clean that up i'll put a box in here to clean that up and then i just have a little bit over here which isn't horrible okay and then I am thinking that I'm just going to take the summertime word and put it right across the, the middle. Okay, so we're going to put this right here and I want to cover up that black line. Okay, peel off my little piece of tape. Okay, and now I'm going to get, this is like cardstock, so I need my cutting board underneath it. Oh, I did not do that very well. I should have timed it that the E. Okay, oh, well, you know what, I've already wrecked this the paper enough, so let's just do it again. Let's rip up some more paper. Ah, yeah. What did I say? Big fat mess? Yeah, more like a gigantic mess I'm making today. But I do think it's going to be cute when I'm done. back down in place yet again hopefully that'll stay and then let's put it so that I'm going between the E and the M when I'm cutting right here 
Okay, I think I got it. Yes, I did. Okay, well, this has been just a wonderful plan with me, teaching you guys so many things not to do. Okay, well, it is cute. Now just to clean up the mess, I'm gonna grab some boxes. Okay, pulled some boxes on my fingers. One thing that I have learned today is that these stickers are very sticky and that I apparently have no idea what I'm doing. So I'm gonna put them on my skin because apparently that helps with stickiness. So I'm gonna go as low as I can here with that one. And I am going to go there with that one. Um, I'm going to throw this one down here to cover up that little tiny mess. And then I I'm going to put this one up here. And actually, I'm going to get a second one of those. And I don't have a second one of those. Oh, yes, I do. So again, the boxes came from this sticker book. And I'm going to... Just overlap the, oh, overlap those. So I will be in Grand Forks on North Dakota on Thursday and Fargo on Friday and Saturday. Okay, so then right in here, there is, so, the ice cream stickers came from this book again, and in the back of her book, she puts in quotes that match. So there's two quotes. All you need is ice cream and more summer. And this one says it's ice cream time. So I'm going to pull those out. Just stick one there. And get the other one off. Okay. So I'm wondering if I could cover up this little bit of a mess here. Put that in right there. And basically for my joy, oops, for my joys of the week, um, it's going to be shopping at Hobby Lobby, shopping at Hobby Lobby, shopping at Hobby Lobby, shopping at Hobby Lobby. Yeah, we don't, we don't have Hobby Lobbies in the state, in, in the states, in Canada, in case you were wondering. Okay, so I am going to put this one, um, probably don't need to go right to the edge. I'm okay if it overlaps a little bit. And ta-da! That mess is fixed. Okay, so I feel like I need to just put a little bit something more in here to make it look more like a rainbow. So I do have the stickers that I pulled from, uh, from the side here. Um, I could just go right across the middle with it. That would work. I have to clean up that sticker. And then I have the brown one, which 
Actually, I probably the brown one would probably work across the middle too. So what if I did like just kind of cut this one off here, like where the cone is, and then just use like the cone itself. That would work better than, because this one's big, it's going to be hard to, like I cut it in half, it's just going to look like a brown square. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to clean these up and put them down there. Okay, I got the paper lined up. And I'm just going to put a little bit of the tape on the back. You probably can't even see that careful not to get it on my planner. Nope, don't trust myself there. <laughs> okay, so I want to put this right in the middle. Okay, don't want to go that way because this big one here is that way. And this one's a little straighter, so we will just go right in the middle like so. And I will get my ruler and I like to flip it over so I can see better. There. Okay, let's try and get this all back to normal. It actually turned out super cute, this ice cream rainbow idea. Too bad I didn't think of it before I started. I'm gonna see maybe, maybe a couple little flowers, something just to make it look more round more filled in for a rainbow so gone through a couple of my books these are old stickers i have no idea where they even came from they're they're the happy planner stickers i know that um this one over here it was a book of icons and stuff and then, I have no idea, this one was just from an old Happy Planner book that I probably got like seven years ago. But anyways, so there are a few ice creams in them, uh, like these little pink ones up here. So let's add these in. One there, and then there's another one of that. Don't really have any cones over here. Can you see that? Let me just move it up slightly. Yeah, I don't really have a cone any over here, so we'll put that one in there. Okay, and then this one here has these little tiny popsicles. So I'm going to just stick them randomly. Do we feel like we have a rain ice cream rainbow now? I think we do. You know what? I've got one left. I'll well put it on here. You know what? I can put it up here with its ice cream time. That's cute. And I think I think that is good. You know, these food sheets that I thought I would never use actually came in handy. So there's one other thing that I found. It's a treat yourself sticker, which I think is is 
perfect for this. And I'm thinking to pr of putting it right here. Treat yourself. Well, I had to clean up. Everything was a mess and in the process I found these two summer day stickers that I completely forgot about. So I am going to put them on. Well, they're not stickers, they're, they're um, pieces of cardstock. So I'm gonna put one down here and I'm gonna put one up in the top corner here. So I hope that you guys, at least somebody out there can appreciate the fact that I've posted a, going to be posting this plan with me that did not start right. Middle was awful, but I think it ended fantastic. I absolutely love the final spread. I love the ice cream rainbow. And I'm extremely happy. It took a long time to get here, but I'm extremely happy with this one. So if you'd like to subscribe, I do have a lot more plan with me's. A lot of them go a lot more smoothly than this one did. It's Lisa. P crafts on YouTube, Pinterest, and Instagram. So please subscribe, give me some likes, and I hope, really hope to see you again. Thanks.